Hey guys, Zerex and welcome back to the MyFlow tutorial. In this video, we're going to be going from this connectbot.js that we ended the last episode with to this reconnectbot.js. Now, I have to stop babying you guys eventually in these episodes, and so I figured what better time than this episode, so I'm not going to go through in depth and explain every little thing, only going to explain new things really. So looking at the difference between these two files, we're going to have to look at the top, that stays the same this episode. And here you'll notice I took all of this and put it into a new constant called initBot, which is tied to a function that has our code in it. So this is essentially copy pasted from this. I did add this loop. So we use initBot to initialize the bot. Um, we call it down here for the first time. And what it, that does is it runs this. And anytime we disconnect, we're going to wait five seconds. That's what set timeout does. It's wait for a set amount of time and then do the thing. So we use set timeout to wait five seconds. It's in milliseconds. And then it runs in a bot again, which then restarts this entire bot. And by restarting the bot, it then tries to connect again because it creates a new bot instance and tries to log in and blah, 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 blah. Now, because we are reconnecting like this, uh, there's something very specific we have to do, and that's how we have to handle... Uh, what happens if it can't reconnect? Because it might not always be able to reconnect. So what happens if it can't reconnect? Well, there is already something built into Mindflare for this. It's called the error event. So we have another event, just like we previously used the login event and the end event. Here we have the error event. It passes us one argument. We previously haven't ha uh, had the um, the privilege of being passed uh, an argument for anything because these don't really need arguments. But the error does have uh, an argument. It's called... Uh, ERR or error and it essentially just gives you information on why uh, the error occurred and what was the error and so in this case there's one error that we really care about and that's econ refused so that's uh, connection refused essentially I don't know what the E stands for but connection refused and so um, I think it's ethernet connection refused or something like this I'm not sure uh, if you know comment down below and I'll uh, write it somewhere but uh, or I'll, actually I'll, I'll probably pin your comment um, but we, uh, check the dot code. So errors have, um, many things with them, uh, many properties, and we use these properties to represent different things. So for example, there's the address, which is the IP. Um, there's the port, which is the port of the IP, uh, that you're trying to connect to whatever. And these are present when the code is econ refused. So we first check if it's, uh, yeah, an econ refused. So if the error is because of a connection failure, then uh, we do some basic feedback similar to what we've been doing on login, where we just say we failed to connect at this place with this port. And if it's not that error, so if it's some other error that we aren't currently accounting for, then just say we have an unhandled error and then spit out the error. So this will, anytime we try and reconnect, which once again, reconnecting is as simple as setting up this by putting, moving this stuff from the outside, from nowhere into this. Um, and then adding uh, reconnect on timeout. We set five seconds because we don't want to DDoS um, <laughs> the, the server. If you connect too fast, it gets a little angry. And so, um, yeah, so we set up a timer. You can set this down to like one second, three seconds. Test around if, to what you need for your specific needs. Um, but for us, we're just going to set to five seconds. We don't really care that much. And uh, five seconds worked for our testing on stream. And uh, once it tries to do that, uh, if it's unable to, it'll run an error. And for all errors, uh, we will run this event. And if it's a connection error where it can't reconnect, which is the most common error that we're going to face, the only one that I've faced with this bot, um, then give us some feedback on maybe why we can't connect. Otherwise, just say we have an unhandled error that you should probably add on to this list. And so if I ever run this and I get an unhandled error, I'll add it so it's now handled in the future. Uh, anyways, let's open up the term, uh, terminal real quick, and then I'll show you guys what this looks like in-game. All right, guys, welcome back. As you can see in the top right, I've got a client open. Once again, this is 1.8.9, like we've been showing in all my videos and I'll be doing in the future as well. Uh, if you are wanting like 1.16 specific stuff, feel free to comment down below and maybe I'll uh, consider doing videos about that stuff uh, if it's something that people really want. But for now, we're staying on 1.8.9 doing basic stuff. And I've got a LAN server connected or started up. 
on port 54357. So I've gone ahead and inputted that port number into my bot arguments here. And then we're going to go down to the terminal. And I've already got typed out node space reconnect dash bot.js. You guys already know this. Press enter. And then what's it going to look like? So we've got hello world bot logging in. And now to show off the new stuff, we actually have to disconnect. Uh, the easiest way to disconnect is to simply close the server. How do you close the server? You just um, save and quit the title. So you'll see when we save and quit the title here that we're going to get some stuff in our terminal. So we're going to look down to the terminal. It's going to say disconnected. It's going to try and reconnect after five seconds. And then we get some connection information. So I'm going to close the script and the connection information it gets. So first off, we get the actual error. But you can see here uh, the feedback log that it sent us failed to connect to. And this is localhost on this port. Just so you know, 127.0.0.1 is localhost um, on, on the correct port. So as you can see, it does show new information. And um, this is so that you can see the actual error. So the error comes with an error number an error code, which is what we're checking for. Um, the syscall for it, which if you're not aware what a syscall is, you can look it on your own time. I'm not going to sit here and describe what a syscall is, but uh, if you really want to know more, there's a whole bunch of information about syscalls online. Shows the address I tried connecting to and the port. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching this. If you found it helpful in any way, shape, or form, please feel free to leave a like. It helps both of us out. And if you are hoping to watch some of my tutorials in the future, uh, which currently are being posted at 1 p.m. EST every Tuesday and Friday, I believe, on my channel. Uh, make sure you leave, uh, uh, make sure, you're, sorry, not leave, leave a like, of course, but uh, go ahead and subscribe so that you can see my things in the future and it helps other people find my channel. So it's mutually, mutually beneficial in that case. Uh, anyways, guys, I've got nothing left for you. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.